Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Some Heaven's Ward, and we're gonna pretend that some time has passed, even though it, it, it really actually technically hasn't, um, because time bubble bullshit. So, we have two of our friends back. We have Thangrid, and we have finally made acquaintance with Kryle, but who is that I see in uh, spoiling itself in the lovely quest image there? What do you mean you've been looking all over for us? We've been sitting outside the manor, and we haven't moved. <sighs> it's not like you have to look for us like really much anywhere. We need to be at the bar or congregation or here. We get really nowhere else to go. Oh, we could be at the Rising Stones, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. You know, pity we don't have one of those freaking things to talk to each other with. Yeah, um, thank right. Um, yeah, we haven't really gone far. Okay, yeah, do you have any luck with, uh, Master Matoya that crowd? I totally forgot to go there, because I believe she is there in Matoya's cave. Yeah, she did. Yeah, she's like, Heidelin speaks to me, yeah, go on ahead, and then she, like, ran the fuck back. Uh, yeah, that, that tends to be what happens when Heidelin talks to us and does crap. Gee, it's not like we've totally gone down this plot line before, you know, it's it, it, it's kind of how we found Yastola, it's how we found where Thancred ended up. Gee, I wonder if we trace an etheric trail from the last place we saw Lunfilia, we might be able to find her. Why are they acting like this is a big surprise and a big revelation that, oh, we can do this! <laughs> See, I like this. I like this. Let's actually, you know, actually, English is hard. My brain is like freezing up on me. Actually take advantage of the fact that we have somebody short who is very easy to hide. Thank you, game. I mean, I know it's meant to be kind of tongue-in-cheek, but at the same time, it's practical. I mean, I mean, you really don't see that much of this in, in the game, you know, like using Lalafels or, or short people, you know, as basically a way to sneak past things or crawl into things. And you don't really see, you know, people volunteering as Rose to, to be a temporary meat shield to help hide people or anything like that. And I'd really like to see that more often. Like, not to really throw the, you know, Rose under the bus because my character used to be one, but at the same time... Take advantage of what you have, you know? Like me, myself, I am obviously a very, very tiny girl. So while I have difficulty with things like, you know, reaching stuff on a tall shelf or whatever, and picking up and carrying things, I also have very small and nimble hands. Now, those hands are not good when you need to, like, grip something, but when it comes to, oh, hey, I need to shove my hand down a crack or... you know, crawl down, you know, below something. Like, I can very more easily take care of those things than somebody who is tall, who, you know, might take longer to get down on the ground. It might be a little, you know, less comfortable for them. Maybe their hand doesn't fit into certain things. Stuff like that. So take advantage of what you got sometimes. You know, you're, you're at disadvantages sometimes, but with every disadvantage, you probably have another advantage somewhere that may come in use from time to time. And, oh, hey, they're, they're already here. Oh, I didn't even have to wait till the ship comes in. Hello! Hori, what's up? I'm guessing your ship just arrived because you knew our name was cleared. Although, technically, our name was never sullied in the first place, but nobody really knew that. Uh, I'm surprised you guys aren't in the Rising Stone, so you must have just arrived. Hey, Mommy. What's going on? I can never pronounce her name, so I don't care. I see you wearing something different. 
surprised you recognize me. You know, I, I, I looked entirely different the last time you guys saw me, but... Maybe it's these crystals of light. Maybe it's echo bullshit that makes you recognize me. Who cares? Aw, well, thank you, dear. No, it's alright, dude. It's okay. It's okay. That night was pretty shitty for almost everybody. No, you escaping with your lives is more important. It's alright, it's alright. I'm not blaming you guys. Not blaming you guys. You guys were across the sea. Not a really easy way to for you to call me. Um I, I I take it in your notification that, you know, we knew you were arriving. Um you probably haven't been appraised of situations. And uh that not everyone has been accounted for. Yeah. Well, I'm sure Higiri could use some help in the kitchen. You know, didn't you really want to, like, learn more Doman recipes and stuff for her? Even though that they did have to, you know, substitute spices and whatever. Um, maybe you could get back into that. You know? Make... And, Make yourself a, a cookbook, you know, regarding Doman and Eorzean cuisine kind of combined. And then, you know, you could, you could sell it to people. Maybe we can make the Scions money, you know. A little bit of, cu little bit of uh, um, cultural mixing and things like that. Maybe? Maybe? I don't know. I am literally just talking on my butt right now. But that's pretty much the par for the course for me right now. So I'm pretty sure most of you have come to expect that. Dude, fucking A, cover up the tattoo stank, right? Jesus Christ. They're a dead fucking giveaway. People are idiots. Well done, sir. And with that, I believe we are ready to proceed. Let us be about our business then. The next patrol may not be so credulous. Get put back on your helmet! <sighs> People are dumb. <laughs> Why must you be so disappointingly brusque? You're not at all as Minfilia described, you know. I don't think you've favored me with so much as a single compliment since we set out. Oh, damn, girl. You got him there. Yeah, she, she, she's teasing him because he hasn't hit on her. Yeah. I love you, Kral. I really love you. Tell me, did your time in the wilderness sap you of all your charm? Or are you holding it in reserve for your beloved? Ooh, oh, she got you there again, son. Whoa. This is neither the time nor the place. Changing the subject, eh? Well, call me old-fashioned, but when I'm risking life and limb infiltrating an Imperial Castrum, I like to be sure of my comrades' motivations. Yeah, Carl brings up a good point here, and it's one thing that I do, I will comment on in uh, future episodes, is that the Scions barely fucking know each other as friends, and she's got a good point here. And I do understand Thancred's point that this isn't the time or the place, but honestly, to bring up a line like this, there was no better place in the narrative without having some superfluous scene. So, so, I'm, so I'm gonna let that part go for that reason. But she brings up a very good point here. About, yeah, you're risking life and limb for one another. Do you at least want to actually know a damn thing about one another? You know, show some damn compassion for each other? Because how the hell are you going to show it to the rest of the people of the realm who are, are, are complete strangers to you? I see now where Alphino gets it from. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Minfilia is dear to me, it is true, but not in the way you think. Fifteen years passed, when she was still but a child. There was an incident at a parade. A gubu broke free of its fetters and ran amok through the streets of Ulda. Had I been more attentive, I could have prevented it. But I was distracted, and her father was killed. Dude, that wasn't your fault! I feared she would never recover. 
But in the years that followed, she showed herself to be more resilient than I had ever imagined. And when she learned of her gift, she did not flinch from the responsibility, but sought to guide others on the path. She touched the hearts of all around her. Mine, Louis Soir, every science. In those dark days following the calamity, she was our guiding light, our hope for a brighter future. Oh, that is so sweet. She had so many dreams, and I would give anything to make them come true. My apologies. I can see she means the world to you. I did not mean to pick at old scars. No, but you had every right to know this. I mean, Minfilia is your best friend. It, it's it's kind of important to you to kind of know where everyone else stands with her. No harm done, I assure you. But fair is fair, my lady. What is Minfilia to you? You should know this, Thancred. She talked. Minfilia talked about her constantly. You know, checking up on her, you talking mean you about don't her. Know. Only my dearest friend. Yeah, yeah. She had several link crawl conversations with her, and like, oh shit, Isle of Al broke up. Can't contact students of Belgrassian. Oh my god, Cryel, where are you? Oh my god, Cryel at least alive, but she's unconscious. Yeah, did you miss all this, Thancred? Did you seriously miss when all this? When I finally emerged from my torpor, I learned that Neri a day had passed without her asking after me. She never gave up hope. Yeah, see, see this. And neither will I. Then for Minfilia's sake, let us pray that these vestiges of Hydaelyn's intervention will lead us to her. Yeah, how do you know the password for that? Um, unless we stole a card key off the of, off the, uh, the the guy who's now unconscious. Yeah, he's gonna have some explaining to do when he wakes up. But yeah, since I like entirely glossed it over, the reason they're there is they're visiting the site of the Ultima weapon, where is where is which is English is hard today. I swear to God, guys, is the last place that we that we know of in Eorzea that Hyland directly intervened, and that was to shield us from the casting of Ultima from Ultima weapon way back when. So they're pretty much detecting if uh, getting readings from that little etheric blip over there and they're gonna compare it to uh more readings they're taking from the tunnel where we last see her to determine that yes possibly Hydaelyn herself directly intervened because the signatures should match yeah so i'm kind of guessing you've been filled in a little bit then your brother's inside, you know. Why don't you go talk to him? I mean, I appreciate you all waited for us. Unless you just got here, you know, there'll be so many people happy to see you. Guys, the door is right here. You can just jump up over this. Sillies. Hello, everybody. Hi, how you doing? Oh, the guy got, actually got up and sat up. You go do that, sir. You go do that. Um, excuse, why are you hiding halfway between the plant? Are you, like, ogling him or something? You know, trying to maybe get a glimpse of some of that cat boy ass? That's the only, oh my, like, oh my god, I'm totally gonna ship that now because, yeah, I can't unsee that. Okay, I see you've gotten out of Tatteru's chair. Tatteru probably kicked you out of that crap. No problem, Tatteru. I'm sure they could have found their way back here themselves, but... I'm, I'm glad we got to meet them. Yeah, where are the Dillman children? Well, actually, they're hanging out in Revenant's Tall, but... Yeah, we never find that out. So yeah, now we do need you to uh, handle the cooking. Because uh, she's gone. Although I'm not really uh, happy that they did that. Because I would love to see the reunion between the two. 
Get carried away on what? He's been doing a lot of carrying, all right. Oh, you mean with the booze? No, he's the one who was actually helping clean up this place while the rest of you sat on your asses. So, no, he deserves a drink or two. Or three. Uh, Clemence, come, come are you okay? God. You, madam, have a row fetish. Yeah! Well, you wasted no time breaking into the bar. He was looking for you, Hori! Why are you just over off in the corner by yourself here? No, dude, you're like not even facing like anybody. Like, socialize. People were worried about you. Like, I, I understand you wanting to sit and stuff, but damn. Uh, she she's right over there. You can literally see her from here. What's up, homie? So let me just call her over. Be like, hey girl, there's someone who'd like to meet you. Aww. Yeah, I'm surprised Thanker isn't rushing his ass back here. Mayhap we'd like to introduce them to Kryle as well, please, guys. I mean, I know they're kind of away right now, but maybe we should make sure that happens? No, Alphano, most of this wasn't your fault, okay? They would have found a way anyway. Of course you will. Well, it's also only fair because you are the shortest and we will block your line of sight. Short people problems. Cookies! Oh, we're taking the cookies. I don't even care about the stats on that crap. We're taking cookies. Cookies for everybody! Cookies! Cookies! Hot and fresh cookies! Made by Tataru! Made with total love! Maybe we can bug the people at the bar for some scoops of ice cream to put on that. No? 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 Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Have it your way. More cookies for us. Oh, it did. Okay. Yeah, why the fuck isn't your stroller here, too? Dude, she's like 10 feet away from you. Just say hi. It's not that goddamn hard. Say, hi. Hi, Mommy Dearest. I'm sorry to interrupt your meeting with these two lovely ladies, but yes, I quickly need to depart on a mission that might actually lead me to the return of your daughter. I hope you will forgive my hasteness. We will talk later, okay? And she'll be like, oh, no, no, it's all right. You go ahead. You go totally right ahead. We'll see you then. There we go. Problem solved. These people are weird. Now, I know this is a totally random time to have this thought, but um, did, did we ever tell anybody back at the manor that we, we would be departing on a brief mission to possibly find one of our fallen comrades? I mean, maybe Tadaro did when she was trying to quote unquote look for us. Um, because even though obviously we have people back in, in Revenant's Toll and everything now, we still technically live there. when time allows. Yeah, dude, well, time is taken care of in 20 minutes, and within the hour, you'll be sweet-talking her all over again. It's fine. 
Yeah, sorry, we forgot you had shorter legs than us. Sorry about that, bro. Oh! Yeah, yeah, I, I, I kind of already got done explaining to the, this to everyone on your behalf. Now, I'm not entirely, I mean, I know they, they, they do want to, you know, confirm these findings because they don't want to get false hopes, but honestly, was there any other ideas they had about potentially what happened? I mean, they had an idea. I mean, yeah, it's good to get evidence to back it up, but until you found contrary evidence, it's pretty safe to assume that this is what happened. What do you mean, unknown third party? It was obviously fucking Minfilia. Who the hell else was there? Uh, well, you summoned yourself into the live stream as well as Thancred. Why is this beyond any capacity for anyone to conclusively believe? I mean, I can understand a tiny bit of disbelief because if you never really thought about this being possible, but Hydaelyn is like goddess of the planet. Okay, I, I, I think it's safe to assume there's probably little she can't do when it in regards to Aether and control of the ethereal sea and whatnot. So, we're going to bug her again. D d guys, guys, we need to bring some tea this time, okay? Uh, uh, nameless? Name no, no, no. We, we need to tell them. You know, she, she actually, despite her rough exterior, kind of actually enjoys the company a little bit, maybe, even if she doesn't want to admit it. I think it's wise we appease her with some beverages of the herbal variety. Might be a great idea, guys. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. All right. We're gonna be rude house guests to her again. Be like, hi, Matoya, we need a favor again. Yeah. Considering the last one, she pretty much just absolutely just handed to us. It's like, yeah, just don't drop it. And, and you can borrow it for five minutes. And we're like, okay. And then she didn't make us do anything or borrow services or ask for any payment or make us go build new guardians or or, or, or kill some killer flies outside who are not away to plants or anything. Nope. Nope. Let's take her for granted once more. Hello, Matoya. I'm sorry I just barged in your house again. I promise you it was not my idea this time. <laughs> oh my my joy, I fucking love you. Jay, I wonder. Estella's like <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I just love how she absolutely just gives no shits. Well, if you can handle the guardians, well, go right the fuck ahead. I mean, she did it with the uh, the library too. I mean, it's obviously she doesn't really give a shit about the Charlanes who scarpled the fuck out of here. It's like, yeah, I got no obligation to those assholes anymore. So, yeah, as long as you don't mind potentially getting yourself killed, have at it.
Yeah, yeah and, and this is another thing I completely fucking love. The entrance to the anti-tower is in her closet. That is hilarious. Well, at least she's actually making this work for her this time. Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure if, if they... If they intended kind of a, a Narnia vibe uh, by having it pretty much in a closet. But... It amuses me nonetheless. Thankred, th thank thank I appreciate your enthusiasm, but I got this. I got this. Gay doesn't have capacity to send NPCs into an instance dungeon like this. Single player instances, yes, but but not really quite the uh, the four man variety that I'm about to unlock. I mean, Obsidian was kind of an exception to that, but he was a fucking load until, um, well, mostly until the cutscene happened anyway. Why don't you show her your obsidian carbuncle? Okay? Maybe, maybe, just maybe she'll be impressed by it. Maybe. Probably not, but maybe. Ha <laughs> ha lamp shading. Okay, you don't game you don't need to explain this game like story segregation stuff. Thankred, calm down. Cryle, smack him. Cryle, you barely know me. Okay, I, I will I, I mean I mean I appreciate your faith, but um, in point of fact, I am more the brawn behind the Scions. Um, this is the one who keeps actually coming up with 90% of the ideas. Yeah. Maybe you should go over there and thank him. Maybe be nice to him for once. Anyway, uh, that's gonna be it for this episode, because now we have to quee up for... Quee. Quee. Why? English is hard today, guys. Q. I, I always say quee inside my head to remember how to spell the damn word, and... and yeah, and then that happens, and I end up fucking up how you're supposed to actually say it, even though I obviously know better. Go ahead and make fun of me in the comments. It is entirely okay. Full permission. But thank you for watching, friends, and I shall see you there.